Hello and welcome to SAP on Microsoft Azure. My name is Holger Brocholt. In this video, we want to take a look at Power Automate and the AI Builder. The flow is actually very simple. Um, we use Power Automate to react on incoming emails. If this email has an attachment to it, then we'll use the AI Builder to look for certain forms, to look for tables in this document. If there is a table, then we'll look at the different values in this table and extract properties like the product ID, a product name, a description, a price out of it, and then use the custom connector that we also used in previous videos when we talked about creating products out of Excel or creating products out of a power app that we had developed. We'll, we'll use the custom connector to actually create now these products in an SAP system. So let's take a look. Okay, so here in Power Automate, we can see all these different trigger points, um, an instant flow, a scheduled flow, and so on. But we can also see a lot of templates that are available. And one of the most popular template is a very simple one that just takes an attachment that you're receiving via email and save this to, to OneDrive. So if I select this template here, then Power Automate is immediately trying to connect to Office 365 to my OneDrive. And I've already done this, so there's not much to do for Power Automate in this case. And I can just click on Create. Now, um, Power Automate has created this flow. And if I click on Edit, you can actually see the different steps. So the initial trigger point is Outlook on a new email. So when a new email arrives, then I can specify some properties, maybe only to a certain to field or when a certain subject is entered or something like that, then this flow should be triggered. And then what it does, it, it loops over all the available attachments in this email and saves, creates these files in a folder in OneDrive. So actually, if I switch to OneDrive, then this, this here is the folder, email attachments um, from flow. And that's um, what this very, very simple flow does. So now what I want to do, I want to loop of all the attachments and look at the attachments and um, retrieve relevant information. And in order to do this, there's an AI builder built in into Power Automate. So there are different um, business scenarios that I can leverage um, to entity extractions, category classifications, and so on. And there's also one called form processing. So I'll start with the form processing. The form processing basically allows me to upload a few sample documents and then use the form processing engine to um, yeah, detect some, some common scenarios, some common patterns. So in this case, I'll just call the um, form processing um, here test. So we'll create a new model called test. And now as a next step, I would need to upload some sample documents then um, Power Automate or the AI Builder would analyze these documents and um, it would allow me to select certain fields and so on. And since this takes a little time, I've already done this. So I've already created this um, model forms builder. And um, out of this forms builder, once it recognized a few templates and or, or, or documents, then what you can see here is a, a small um, document and I selected um, a table structure. So I want the AI Builder to look for tables within this document. And then I can use this in Power Automate and Power Apps to extract the relevant fields. So coming back to our simple um, receiving an attachment via email and saving it to, to OneDrive scenario, I have this here, but I've extended it. So yes, we are still using the trigger. We are still saving a file to OneDrive. Of course, um, I could have skipped this as well. But the interesting thing here now is this new action, this process and save information from forms. So in this action, I'm selecting the forms builder, the model that I have um, previously created. I'm specifying the um, form type. So I'm telling the forms builder that this is a PDF document. And then I'm putting in the attachment that came via Outlook. Once I have this, then the forms recognizer retrieves this table information. So I, I, I told the model that there is a, a table in there. So I, I'm telling the, um, the, the model 
take this look at this table, retrieve the fields and the table detected or the model detected there, there is a product ID, a product name and product description and a, a price. So that's what the model is actually looking for. With these values extracted, I'm just sending an email. So this could be an approval email. This could be um, just a notification email like in my case. And then I'm using the very same OData connection um, connector that we have built there on, on GitHub that we also used in previous videos to take this information and to update information in the SAP system. So if we actually take a look at one of these sample documents, so this is a, um, a list of products um, that should be added to a catalog. You can see there is actually a table and um, like in the previous examples, it has a product ID, product name and so on. So if I take this PDF document and if I send this document now to my demo user, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm um, specifying the recipient. I'm attaching um, the PDF document. I provide some text. If I send this email now to this user, then um, the Power Automate flow should get triggered. So let's take a look at the emails. And hopefully the email arrives in a second. There it is. Perfect. So the email is now in my inbox. So the first thing that should happen is that this document should be saved on OneDrive. Remember, that was the very first step in our um, in our flow. So hopefully if I go here to OneDrive, if I refresh this page here, then we should see our product list here. Here this the product list um, file is now stored to OneDrive. What should also have happened is that our um, AI builder should have um, retrieved, extracted the relevant information and saved this information to the SAP system. So again, I'm switching over to this um, very famous SAP ES5 system, and I'm just looking for products that start with HBR. So if I click on go here, then we're looking up in the SAP system and you can see there are now um, four new products that have been created in the SAP system. Actually, if we take a look at our flow and if we take a look at the run history, of our flow. So um, remember all the flows have a beautiful run history there where I can really drill down and where, where I can look at um, what actually happened. If I take a look at this flow then first of all yes okay the, the email was triggered or the, the flow was triggered by this incoming email. We can see that there was one attachment so I'm looping only all over this one attachment. I'm saving this attachment and now the interesting st stuff happens. In this process and save information action you can see that this one attachment was processed. It was this PDF document and we are retrieving a lot of information, a table columns, um, the table itself, the table zero and so on. And here we can get the information of the position, where exactly was this table, um, what kind of data was there. So potentially I could also use this information for um, some, some other information. I'm only interested in the actual properties of this table or in the actual values of this table. So I'm just taking this table zero output now and I'm looping over this table. So there are four entries. There were four entries in this table. And um, also uh, keep in mind that the header information was actually removed. And now but with the actual um, rows that that contain data, I'm looping over them. I'm extracting here the HBA, HBR 2005 or whatever product and so on. And then I'm sending an email. Again, this is just an information in my specific case that could be an approval. But then more importantly, I'm using this custom connector to save this information in the SAP system, to really create this information in the SAP system. And that then obviously results in these informations being available also in the SAP Fiore screen so um, that you can see the, um, the, the, the actual new products here in your SAP system. So in a very simple way and actually pretty fast, um, the, the only thing that takes a little longer is um, the generation of this new model. I'm able to create a scenario that with an incoming document, I can actually create automatically products in my SAP system. I hope you saw how easy it actually is to um, take the different building blocks of Power Automate, put them together and then really create very business meaningful scenarios. So if you want to get started and if you want to try it out yourself, I've provided you a few links um, how to um, create your very first um, Power Automate. Um, again, just start with the template 
um, for Office Outlook integration into OneDrive. And then use the AI Builder, similarly to what I showed you in the video, to um, start extracting the documents and start um, yeah, working with the data that you're retrieving. Once you have this, then use the um, custom connector. You can download it here from, from GitHub to actually update the data in your SAP EF5 system. With this, as always, thank you very much for watching. Stay healthy. Please subscribe and see you next time.